Welcome back to the channel, Stuart from ZZ Toys and Play, and today we're going to be reviewing one of my vintage sets of CQ, which is the Low Loader and with Space Shuttle. Okay, so I've been super excited to uh, to review this one for you. I'm gonna go in slowly and unbox the model here. As you can see here, it is a, an original CQ uh, space shuttle with low loader, which I managed to get off of eBay. So as you can see there, you have the original logo. It is a 155 scale model, and it is model number, uh, model number 4016. So as we go around the box, there is a diorama on the top there, which you can see, and you can see the shuttle, space shuttle has a lot of playability as well. And then as we go to the rear side, you can see the awesome haircuts of the day of when this was actually um, released, as well as the little one playing there as well. And then you've got some of the, the uh, diorama as you can see the Mack truck with the flipping but we're going to get it all into that now so we're going to unbox it nice and carefully because it's the first time that I've actually unboxed this model okay so let's line everything up and see what we have here So we'll go with the space shuttle first and then we can just see and then get into the Mack truck and low loader a bit later. Okay, so the space shuttle, as you would expect, uh, well, is all is completely plastic. Um, they do have this opening section here and then you, you've got this small um, uh, package that you would put out uh, into space. It's, I don't know if it would be a telescope. The ESA, Euro European Space Agency, I think. So that's quite interesting. It's in a Euro USA uh, space shuttle, but there we go. And maybe, and this is the Space Shuttle Columbia. Uh, and you've, then you've got the tail fin here, which we are going to put on as well like i say i've got this off ebay so there it, it, it's slightly used this doesn't fit in there quite as well but i don't think that's such a problem put the tail fin in and let's see if that looks like that locks into place which is absolutely excellent okay so this is the model all put together it looks really cool definitely going to have loads of playability to it in terms of flying it around the the um the wheel the landing gear does not retract that is all fixed but again, I don't see that as a huge problem. It's really nice scaled modeled. Um, anyone that is younger playing with this uh, is going to really enjoy it. You've got the see-through um, the windscreen here, and then you can see into the cockpit of the of the um, of the space shuttle. We'll just take the payload out there, and then we have the and then you can have a look in the inside as well. Boosters on the back as well, so you have here, which are nicely put together and all complete. So we'll put them back in there and then we'll just put that to this back. Just put that onto my keyboard there. So as we go on to the low loader element of it, the truck is absolutely excellent. I do like these older trucks. There is so much weight to it. It's a 155 scale model. And as you saw on the box, you do have this playability of the bonnet coming up to service the engine. I don't think you can see it quite well there, but you, there is a lot of die cast metal in there and you can see a really cool engine, which is silver. Okay, so then as you go around the model, and if everything you see here which is red is die cast metal, a lot of the silver on here from the feel of it is actually plastic, but that's not too bad. Um, the blue is chassis, the chassis, and then you do have this mechanism here which locks the which locks the trailer into place to stop it coming away. 
um, everything on the back here the sleeping quarters section of it is die cast metal as well so as soon as you pick it up you do feel it as a quality model the only downside of this truck I think is that these should be rubber wheels so that's one of the things I'm I think is maybe a negative but overall it looks absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic feels absolutely great in your hand and in terms of quality wing mirrors as well plastic but also look really good and nicely detailed then as we go on to the low loader section again nice and heavy for the length everything you see here which is red is die cast metal and you've got plastic wheels and then you've got this plastic section here as well which i should imagine is to look to fit in the space shuttle so we're going to put it all together now and see how it goes from there so we'll just get the space shuttle back again and this looks like that that just locks in to the top section here with this wheel here so we'll just do that to try and keep that in place and that goes in very nice and slots in brilliantly so it, it is nicely secured in there if you are playing around and then we're going to hitch it up to the trek to the truck with moving this section along here to keep it nicely solid on and that is absolutely everything it's a, as you can see here it's an absolutely fantastic model overall length of it is it's easily a foot and a half in length it's definitely something that if you can get hold of one i know they are super rare i was very lucky to get hold of this for the price i did get hold of it for so yeah that is it for this review it's definitely worth um if you can get hold of one for your vintage collection i think it's definitely something that you will enjoy having and looking at it's absolutely fantastic the overall length of this driving it around is just going to be absolutely um a, a treat for you okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed a look into a vintage model compared to the newer models if you have any questions please comment down below and please remember to like share and subscribe it really helps the channel thank you very much